Guys, keep that energy alive for your next comment coming to the stage. Yeah. Put your hands together for Richard Reese. Thanks, brother. Hey, what's happening? I'm uh, I'm happy, man. I'm having a good year. I have done 50 paid shows this year. Yeah, yeah. This uh this ain't one of them. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, man, I'm to the point in my career where I always get paid, but not necessarily in money. I did a show two months ago, they paid me in weed and Adderall. <laughs> yeah, I was up all night focused on doing nothing. <laughs> it's up and down in my career. I'll give you an example of how up and down it is. Last year, I had two shows, Friday and a Saturday. That Friday, I opened up for Kevin Nealon from Saturday Night Live in a 5,000 seat theater. And that Saturday, I did a birthday party in a bowling alley. <laughs> I had just as much fun at both shows, but guess which show I got laid on? <laughs> Neither, I hate this job. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to get on TV, man, doing these movie auditions and stuff. Gotta have, uh, gotta have pictures for these auditions. It's expensive, man. Some of these auditions I don't even wanna go on. They got a new Ghost Hunter show coming out with an all-black cast. An all-black cast, how's that gonna work? <laughs> But let me guess, like, each episode is gonna be 15 seconds long, and the name of the show is gonna be called Shit, I ain't going in there. Let me see over there, man. Oh, that's, a, that's why I'm going to my grandma's house, because my grandma's house is haunted, and most haunted houses have maybe one or two ghosts, but my grandma's house was built in the late 1800s, and I'm not even exaggerating, it's about 47 ghosts in there. Some of the ghosts in my grandma's house are scared. <laughs> I was in the hallway late one night and I heard a ghost came around the corner and said, man, did you hear that? <laughs> we held hands for two hours. <laughs> you know, currently on day 29 of going 30 days without drinking right now. <laughs> this is the worst decision I ever made. <laughs> yeah, you might have a point. It wasn't that much of a struggle as I thought it'd be since I was counting down from 30. <laughs> I got tore up last night, man. <laughs> I need to quit getting drunk on my front porch. I <laughs> get drunk on the front porch. I did uh, a few weeks ago, I was out there, and the neighbor kid, five-year-old kid, was across the street, and he had one of those lawnmowers where the bubbles come out of it. <laughs> I gave him 20 bucks to do my lawn next. <laughs> you know, watching bubbles come out of four feet of grass. <laughs> uh, I got rich neighbors, they on vacation right now. Some tropical climate. I'm so jealous, man. I can always tell when my neighbors are on vacation because there's hardly never anything in their fridge. <laughs> I have some respect. I still got to stay here. I ain't got nothing in my fridge. My light won't even turn on in my fridge. My light just like, you ain't got nothing to see. <laughs> I'm always getting in trouble. I was at Target. Lady came out and said, excuse me, do you know where the flat screen TV? I said, bitch, I don't work here. <laughs> Make a long story short, I got fired from Target. <laughs> In my defense, I was kind of right. <laughs> I'm always getting in trouble. Lady called the police on me, said I was stalking her, called me a creep. I said, you know what's creepy? How you sleep with your mouth open. Now <laughs> we both drooling. <laughs> got a lot of potholes in my neighborhood. My car got PTSD. <laughs> I hit a pothole last week by my house that was so deep, shit turned out to be a shortcut. <laughs> Man, I'm taking this route every day. Uh, marijuana's legal in a lot of places. Yeah, man, Colorado, my garage. <laughs> I don't think weed should be legal because I like going about trying to get it in shady ways. You know, I don't mind meeting a dude in a dark alley somewhere, not knowing if I'm gonna survive this transaction. <laughs> I remember the first time I bought it legally in Colorado. I paid for it, he slid it across the counter, I slid it right back. I said, for old time's sake, will you just meet me in the alley? <laughs> he robbed me. <laughs> oh man, remember when uh, the election was over and we were all really excited because we didn't have to talk about politics anymore? Yeah, how's that shit working out for you? <laughs> I deleted more people on Facebook than Hillary did emails. <laughs> All right. No, I was just trying to see how that would work. I didn't know. Uh, I live in Nebraska. That shit worked there. <laughs> yeah, I voted for both of them. I like chaos. You know? oh, 
People think Donald Trump is racist? I don't think he's racist, man. He even said himself, some of my best friends know some Mexicans. <laughs> he's funny, he don't like Mexicans, but he loves Mexican food. You know, he wanna build a wall, but put a drive through in it. <laughs> I don't need to pay for this in freedom. That's the appeal of Donald Trump. People like him because he says whatever's on his mind. He has no filter. He just says whatever's on his mind. And he could do that because he has bodyguards and secret service. You know, I don't want the average person thinking that they can do that. That's why I think everybody's Twitter account should have their address on it. You know, somebody on Twitter, I don't like black people. I can't stand black people. Who is it? Whole bunch of black people. <laughs> All the black people. <laughs> You guys want some coffee? <laughs> yeah, make it black, too. <laughs> I tried to do that black voice. I can't do it. I'm like Carlton from Fresh Prince. <laughs> hey there, big guy. <laughs> my wife said I'm the whitest black guy she knows. I got so mad, I almost threw my Fraser DVD box at her. <laughs> I didn't know, and that's my jam. <laughs> you know, we gotta be able to joke about society, man. Everybody's so tense right now. You gotta be able to joke about stuff, man. My best friend, white dude, did it perfectly. We're in a public restroom, stalls right next to each other, and he said, man, I gotta pee like a racist horse. <laughs> I said, you mean a race horse? <laughs> he said, no, a racist horse. And I said, what does that mean? And he turned and he peed on me. <laughs> It's a racist ass horse. <laughs> I experienced racism at a mall. Six year old white girl said, mommy, black people smell. And mom ran up to me and she said, I'm so sorry, please forgive me. You know kids. I said, oh, it's cool, don't worry about it. You know bad parents. <laughs> In the little girl's defense though, I did fart. <laughs> That's what racism will get you. <laughs> Fart to the face. <laughs> Wild times, man. Yeah, man, uh, I got married six months ago. <laughs> yeah, babies due next month. <laughs> I work fast, no. <laughs> no, man, uh, it's exciting. I was nervous when we got married. She said, we should get our wedding bands tattooed. I said, that's kind of permanent. Oh. <laughs> ready, for all, ready for all that. <laughs> One step at a time. <laughs> yeah, man, I was nervous, man. Right when I got engaged, I had to call all my side chicks. <laughs> you gotta call them, they can't find out on Facebook. <laughs> I had to tell them, I was like, yo, I'm engaged, I'm getting married. I'm not gonna be able to see you as often. Nah, I still see him. Um, nah, she's cool, man. We got a good relationship. We always pranking each other. I bought her a book on how to give oral sex for her birthday. <laughs> Cause you know, gag gift. Uh, she got me back though. The next morning I woke up and I said, hey baby, if I was dying and the only way to save my life was to give oral sex, would you do it? And she said, oh, totally. Who'd I have to give it to? Gave it to my brother. <laughs> no, that's cool, he's a nice guy. Um, here's a little advice to every guy in this room. Never ever measure your penis. Never do it, because no matter what it comes out to, you're gonna be disappointed. I went out and got a 12 inch ruler. Came out to nine and a half inches. Then I realized the ruler was backwards. <laughs> There's a couple of dudes in there like, well, that's still pretty big. <laughs> hey, you guys, I'm Richard Reese, man. Enjoy the rest of the show. Thank you. Thanks, brother. Good